Hi there. A garden contains two square peanut beds. Find the length of each bed if the sum is 765 square feet and the difference of the areas is 117 square feet. Well, what they mean is that if you add the two areas together, you get 765 square feet. If you subtract the smaller area from the bigger area, you get 117 square feet. This is going to be another application of nonlinear systems. Let's start by drawing the square peanut beds. Do you recall that one of our presidents grew peanuts? Jimmy Carter from Georgia. There were a lot of jokes about him being a peanut farmer. All right, the length and the width of the smaller bed will be L and W, and the length and the width of the larger bed will be A and B. Area, as you know, equals length times width. And area of the larger bed will be A times B, which is also length times width. Now, since, since these beds are squares, the length and the width equal each other. So we can call the length and the width of the smaller square L, and we can call the length and the width of the larger square A. Now, the sum of the area of the small square and the area of the big square is 765, and the difference of the areas, the bigger area minus the smaller area, is 117 square feet. However, B equals A, and W equals L because we're dealing with squares, so we'll have A squared plus L squared equals 765. And A squared minus L squared equals 117. Now we can solve this in a number of different ways, but it looks like I chose substitution, so let's just go with that. A squared equals 117 plus L squared. I'm going to take that over to the sum formula and say that since A squared equals 117 plus L squared, we'll have 117 plus L squared plus L squared equals 765. So 2L squared equals 765 minus 117. Now 765 minus 117, I didn't have a calculator with me, so I just used my fingers, the original approach. 2L squared equals 648 square feet. Divide both sides by 2, and you'll have L squared equals 324, which means L is going to equal the square root of 324. And that happens to equal 18. So L is 18. Now let's find out what A is. We already know that A squared equals 117 plus L squared, and that L squared equals 324. 117 plus 324 equals 441. Ah. Oh. 
I was thinking 441 while I wrote 451. Anyway, we found out how large both beds are by solving two systems simultaneously.